te tanu baba ora temba muri je zohora ndiri mba ndiri mbo yurukundo rukundo gwa yesu rutagira kage zohora ndiri mba zohora Rakoze mwami kutwitangira bizo wasize mu ijuru kugira ngo uze kubohora imitima yacu kugira ngo ushore kuduhuza na data warakoze mwami tsora ndiri mburukundo kwa Yesu ibazwa wa mana yacu Oh! <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Abakunda umupira nabawukina tuzatubibona Iyo ngikipe yatsinze muzi muzi nduri zihaba niko nabivuga Muzi nkera abantu bazabamiza iyo muri nko muri stade Muza mumva ingene bamiza bakoma mashi Yesa himbazwe Rero uyu munsi ni umunsi wacu w'insinzi ni gitondo cy'insinzi yacu abo mu nzu y'Imana Nukuwa ngo tukwa atzinze, tukwa atzinze urufu, tukwa atzinze kuzimu Tukwa atzinze satani Tukwa atzinze ili amyuka mimi yose Vero sinzi mamvu Tukwa atzinda, tukwa amara, tukwa cheseka Hallelujah! Amen! Tukwemeze turiri mbili maana Kumashwa renga Kakwa akundi njine wazaba amiza muristadi Abantu bazabamiza n'igisagara cyose bakamiza bakiruka siko biza bigenda ari igitego cyabaye nuko uvuga ngo Yesu no munsi yatsinze igitego haleluya amen dukomeze turamye imana mu byinshi mu byinshi ngaho bene data kundirimba umwa dutegurije haleluya amen haleluya amen dukomeje guhimbaza imana yacu no kuyiramya muri iki gitondo kugwa kugira neza kwayo reka turirimbe ngo amaraso yo mucunguzi uyu munsi niho twacunguriweho amen kugwa imbabazi zayo haleluya amara so you mucunguzi niyo so koyo zabandu Niyo yesa Niyo yesa wa Nyabya ade Makawone rago sere Amara so Amara so yu Mucho mjusi Niyo sa kaya za Oh, yeah. 
Turakomeza guhagarana na Azafu tugiye kwa kwiyakira tugiye kwa kirifunguro ryera amen tugiye kwa kirifunguro ryera itorero rya mbere ngo bamanyuranyaguraga imitsima barangiza bagahimbaza imana natwe turamanyagura umutsima ari wo mubiri wa Kristo ni turangiza tuwurye tumwe na maraso ya ni turangiza duhimbaza imana yesa ashimwe cyane oh yesu ni umwana reka twongere dusenge Ari kunda saba Eric agume hano afashe gusoma azane Bibiliya. Amen. I want Eric to come forward so he can help me to read with the Bible. Mana yacu twongeye kugushima. Twongeye kugushima umunsi nk'uyu nguyu twongera kwibuka kuzuka kwawe. Uwiteka mana ikomeye tukibuka ibibabaro wanyuze mu kugacu. Tukibuka mana ikomeye amaraso yamenetse ku musaraba ku bwacu kugira ngo duhure ngere duhure n'Imana twa twaratandukanye nayo kugira ngo twongere twitwa abana kugira ngo twongere tuve hanze tuve kuba kuba bamayi babo twongere twitwa abana mu rugo mana turagushima muri iki gitondo tukuzamuri icyubahiro mwami wanje nkweretse muri muntu wese wageza aha ndasenze ngo winje hano hano rwaya soka kize mu izina rya Yesu ndasenze ngo umuntu winje hano hano yakuba hatagufite mu bugingo bwe asoke yakwakirie mu mwami no mucunguzi uwiteka mana ikomeye winje hano hano harira reka soke mwami wanje wa muhojeje mana yanje tuguhaye icyubahiro tukuzamuri icyubahiro amashimwe na yawe kuko ari wowe watsinze urupfu ni kuzimu mu izina rya Yesu amen Yesa shimwe cyane. Amen. Ndasaba nabari online bashaka bashobora gusangira ifunguro natwe namwe mwegera meza twese dusangirire hamwe. Yesa shimwe cyane. To ask those who are online so you may be on the table with us so you may share the word of God and the uh, the table on the at the same table. Amen. Amen. Tugiye gusoma ijambo ry'Imana muri Yesaya igice cya 53 umurongo wa gatatu. We're going to read the word of God in book of Isaiah 53 verse 5. Wahanuzi bwa Isa ya 53 no kuri 5 aravuga ngo nyamara ibicumuro byacu nibyo yacumitiwe yashenjagariwe gukiranirwa kwacu yihanuka iduhesha amahoro cyari kuri we kandi imibyimbaye niyo yadukiri niyo yadukirisha twese twayobye nk'intama zizimiye twese twabaye intatane uwiteka mushiraho gukiranirwa kwacu twese yararenganye ariko yicisha bugufi ndi yabumbura kanwa ke Amera nk'umwana w'intama bajana kubaga cyangwa nk'uko intama icicekira imbere yabayikemura niko atabumbuye akanwa ke amen amen yesa shimwe cyane ngo bicumuro byacu nibyo yacumitiwe ngo yashenjaguriye gukiranirwa kwacu igihano kiduhesha amahoro ngo cyabaye kuri we haleluya ngo kandi imibyimbaye ni yadukirisha he heals us from his wounds haleluya haleluya Mana ya chishim. Amen. May our God be blessed, be praised. We're going to 
be close to the table of God. And We're going to read again the book uh, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. From uh, verse 23 up to 31. Hallelujah. Haravuga ngo nuko ico nahawe n'umwami wacu kumenya nico nabahaye namwe yuko umwami Yesu ijoro bamugambaniye mo yenzu umutsima akawushimira akawumanyagura akavuga ati uyu ni umubiri wanje ubatambiwe muje mukora gutya kugira ngo munyibuke nigikombe akigenza cyo bamaze kurya ati iki nigikombe ni sezerano risha Jo mu maraso yanje muje mubikora mutya uko muzaja munweraho kugira ngo munyibuke uko muzaja murya uwo mutsima mukanwera kuri ico gikombe muzaba mwerekana urufu rw'umwami Yesu kugezaho azazira nico gituma umuntu wese uzarya umutsima w'umwami wacu cangwa azanwera ku gikombe ce uko bidakwiriye azagirwaho n'urubanza rwo gucumura ku mubiri n'amaraso Zumami, nuko umuntu yinire isuzume abone kurya kuri uwo mutsima no kunywera kuri ico gikombe kuko ufa kurya akanywa atitaye ku mubiri w'uwo mwami aba aririye aririye kandi aba anywereye kwishiriraho gucirwaho iteka ndetse nico gituma benshi muri mwe bagira integenke abandi bakarwaragura abandi benshi bakaba basinziriye ariko twakwisuzuma titwagirwaho n'urubanza amen amen imana yacu niyo kwizera imana yadushiriye ho buryo bwo kongera kugaragaza urupfu rwayo no kuzuka kwayo no kubaho muri twebwe god put away so we may, he may show again his resurrection and his living in us Amen. Ku murongo wa 26 haravuze ngo uko tuzajya tumwera kuri icyo gikombe tukarya kuri uwo mutsima ngo tuzaba tugaragaza iki urupfu rw'umwami wacu Yesu Kristo kuzageza igihe azazira. Yesu ashimwe cyane. Verse 26 it says as often as we eat at this and this bread and drink the cup you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Tuzaba tugaragaza urupfu rwe. Tuzaba twatura gupfa kwe. We will be showing him being dead urupfu rwa kumusaraba dead on the cross kuzuka kwe his resurrection kuzamurwa kwe he's going to heaven no kugaruka kwe kudutwara and he's coming back tuzaba so take us tuzaba twaturi ibi ngibi tubyaturi imbere y'isi nijuru ngo babimenye we will be proclaiming this before the heavens and the earth tuzaba twaturi ibi ngibi imbere ya satani n'abadaimoni ngo babimenye we will be proclaiming this before the uh, before the devils and every kind of bad spirits kugira ngo bamenye ko dufite ibyiringiro bifite ubugingo kandi dufite umugabane mu ijuru hallelujah they may know that we have we have a sharing of heaven that we have god and we have hope of, of heaven yes ashimwe cha praise god kumurongo wa 28 haravuze ngo 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 abantu ngo ntidukafe kurya gusa ngo cyangwa tumwe gusa ngo ahubwo tujye twinira twisuzume twisuzume dusuzume imitima yacu kugira ngo tutazagirwaho n'urubanza rwo gucumura ku mubiri no gucumura kuri ayo maraso yesa ashimwe cyane at verse 28 it says do not just eat do not only eat but just evaluate yourself so you may eat and then then the sin will not go on you Muri Yesaya 53 turasomye ngo bicumuro byanjye ibicumuro byawe nibyo yacumitiwe. Ah Isaiah 53 we saw that your sins are the one that made him pierced. Ngo yashenjaguriwe igukiranirwa kwacu. And he was murdered because of our sins. Yes ashimwe cyane. Praise God. Ndagira ngo muri aka kanya witekerezeho nange nitekerezeho. I want at this moment so you may think of yourself evaluate yourself and I may evaluate myself. Biri abicumuro byange yacumitiwe ese na nyuma yo kumumenya hari ibyo ngikoramo? After he being murdered because of my sins am I still sinning those sins that he, mur he was murdered of? Kuri yagukiranirwa kwanje yashenjaguriwe. Ese nyuma yo kumwakira nk'umwami n'umucunguzi hari ibyo nkibonamo Those sins that he was murdered for are after being saved do I still see those sins again Mu gice cy'a 10 cy'abakorinto bambere 
Paulo yaravuze ngo ntabwo wanywera ku gikombe cy'aba diamond ngo wongere unywere no ku gikombe cy'umwami cyangwa ngo urye umutsima umubiri w'umwami ngo wongere urye no kurya ku byaterekeshejwe ibishusha yasa shimwe cyane Praise God in, in the book of Corinthians uh, chapter 10 it says you ma, you cannot drink on the cup of demons and then again drink on the cup of a good of a good cup so we cannot just keep mixing stuff tugiye kwihana we're going to repent ourselves. We're going to repent using the word of Isaiah. We're going to repent the sins that keeps coming back. We're going to repent all our sins. Because Jesus Christ was died for us once. He will not do it again. He only died once. Brethren, when he was on the cross, Jude sold him. But Peter was uh, was denying him. Uh, when he was on the cross, other disciples ran away. And he, that means whenever we do not do what we're supposed to be doing, we're doing the same thing that the disciples did. But the same time when we keep sinning and keep doing the same thing, at the same time we're being slave and we're really being, uh, we're really being sinful again. Let us repent ourselves Father God trust me we you before 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 you Oh, Renga, she young and you for Rupfu, Rupfu, Taru, Rupfu, Sanga, Rupfu, Rakumu, Sarava, Kugiran, Gudu, Chungure, Yakuba, Tonga, Yabuchishwa, Gufino, Kugirane, Zakawe, Tonga, Kuzimber, Ugiza, to Kwinging and Gutuva, Kiran, Wakachu, Wanga, Tuva, Kirang, Tuva, Yahabiachu, out to Guchumura, Tuva, out to Vanganis, Tuva, out to Kivaki, Wikikoba, Kumusara, to Kakiwanangi, Sango, Tuva, Manayachu, Tuva, Washenja, Gueri, Meris. What you meet with Chumura Gatri Merisana Gobizongera, Mani Kometra, Quingins and Gotua Varide, Ishamba Gera to Grangukira Nukira Kutua Varimi Chumura Gatu, no Kutkaza Gukira Nigwakachu, Turabushim, you take a Mani Kome Kutua Varigukira Nigwakachu, Turabushim Yakuba Hakonga Kutkuta, if you move it, you are when I'm a soil, if you forgot Mugingo Gatu, no Muzima Gatu, Urako, the Kibirenge, the Kichua Nikus of Komeza Kubijan, and it take at Jose, Mizina Guman, watch Yesu Christo. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Mubakore no wa mbere gice cy'a 11 umurongo wa 23 no wa 24 reka tuha twongere tuhasome hanyuma niturangiza tusangire. Amen. First Corinthians chapter gice cy'a 11 chapter 11 do umurongo wa 23 no wa 24 and 25 verses. Nuko Chuna hawe no mwami wacu kumenya nico nabahaye namwe kuko umwami Yesu ijoro bamugambaniyemo yenze umutsima akawushimira akawumanyagura akavuga ati uyu ni umubiri wanje ubatangi ubatangiwe muje mukora mutya kugira ngo munyibuke amen amen haleluya deka Amen. The cup of the blood of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus, there is a new covenant. The new covenant says. 
umwami imana muri Ezekiel aravuga ngo azaturemera imitima misha azadukuramo imitima yibuye adushiremo imitima mishasha haleluya in the book of Ezekiel we have a promise of being changed of our hearts that he will take away the hard stone the hard um, the hard heart that is like a stone and put a soft aturemera umutima w'inyama so umutima us a soft a, a flesh a heart umutima wumva ijambo ry'Imana ukaryakira the heart that will listen the word of God and then can just receive it kandi nano ni sezerano risha riravuga ngo azatubabarira ibicumuro byacu buri muntu wese uzakira umwami Yesu umwami n'umucunguzi we azababarirwa ibyaha bye ahinduka umwana w'Imana and then in the new cover, in the new um in the new testament he says everyone who received Jesus Christ as the savior and the lord he will be changed and will be a new child children of god hallelujah 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 ndagira ngo ababishinzwe batange ifunguro ryera azafu yongera iririmbi indirimbo ivuga ku maraso y'umwami Yesu maze i would like the people who are in charge can be serving the tuangiza tubasangira so we may share together amara so you muchungu si io so koyozaba e nio yesa nio ye
Hallelujah. I would like Pastor Eric to read for us in the book of John. John chapter 1, verse 14. Have your body of Christ in your hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Chapter 6, verse 35 of the book of John. John chapter 6, verse 35. Yesu arababwira ati nije mutsima w'ubugingo haleluya uza ahondi ntazasonza na hato haleluya nunyizera ntabwo azagira inyota na hato amen haleluya bene data fata ifunguro ryawe ubwira imana uti mana yange uko ngiye kufata uyu mutsima ari wo mubiri wawe nka buryo ukajya mu mubiri wange reke ne kuzongera gusonze ibyisi ukundi ne kuzongera kugira inyota ibyisi ukundi nge ngira inyota ibyo mu ijuru gusa nge ngira inzara ibyo mu ijuru byo nyine nguhanga amaso mwami Yesu haleluya haleluya hanurira iryo funguro bene data as you're going to share the blood of Jesus Alleluia. and the body of Christ, Alleluia. pray these prayers saying, Alleluia. I want to eat this, but I don't want to thirst any more of Alleluia. the things of the world. Alleluia. But I don't want even even being hunger of the things of this world. Alleluia. But I just want to be having my eyes on you only. Alleluia. Having the thirst of the heavenly things in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then read again chapter 6 of the book of John 50, 54. Fifty-four. and Go to fifty six after that. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, hallelujah. 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 Akangwa amaraso yanje aguma muri nje nanje nkaguma muri we amen haleluya yesa shimwe cyane bene dati jambo ry'Imana rya tubwiye ngo ntitugapfe kurya gusa haleluya tujye turya twamaze kumenya isezerano riri mu byo tugiye kurya haleluya let us eat knowing the covenant that is connected to this what do what would we going to do ngo niturya umubiri we tukamwa namaraso ye tuzagira ubugingo buhoraho if we eat and have the blood of Jesus we will have eternal life kandi ngo niturya umubiri we tukamwa namaraso ye ngo tuzaguma muri we na wagume muri twebwe siryo and if we protect to this covenant of God, we will have eternal life again. Let us pray. Let us pray. Oh, mana ya chumani gira. 
ubwo tugiye gufatira ifunguro ryera data buja turazana n'imiryango yacu uwiteka mani komeye turatura imbaraga z'umuzuko ku miryango yacu turatura imbaraga z'umuzuko kuba twashakanye turatura imbaraga z'umuzuko kuba zadukomokaho turatura imbaraga z'umuzuko kuri ritora raduhaye gusengeramo turatura imbaraga z'umuzuko ku byacu byose byapfuye reka icyubahiro nikuzo bikomeze kubi byawe nyakubahwa none niteka ryose mana yacu mwizina ryawe rikomeye mwami Yesu haleluya reka dusangire umubiri wa Kristo dusangire na maraso ye let's share the blood reka azafu badufashe guhimbaza imana mu minota mikeya hanyuma dukomeze gahunda imana yacu bagirire neza imana yacu ihabwe icyubahiro haleluya let our god be glorified and let us nabonyo mu kuzimiza yarangunze namuzi yampatishi Jumugusi Arigoru Kudurbe Nawonye Nawonyo Mokunzimni Yaranunze Yaranunze Namuzi Yafatishi Yafatishi Jumugosi Arigo Arigo I'm 
Iyo munsi turishimira intsinzi yo gucungurwa kwacu. Amen. Ah uh, urongera wakire gucungurwa gushya ongera ugirane sezerano risha n'umwami wawe. Hallelujah. Niyo mpamvu turi yumbye kutwabonye umukunzi wacu. Hallelujah. Reka dufatanye mu ndirimbo zingahe mu minota baduhaye. Reka tuyikoresha ari kumwuka namanuka tumwumvire nawe birakwiriye kuko imbabazi zayo zihora witeka. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yesu ni we ni shemo ya mbere yubugiro natamura natamura bonye o ya mbere yubugiro Yesu ni we Yesu ni we ni Yesu 
Fatikanye twese hamwe nukuramye imana mu buryo bwose bushoboka haleluya indirimbo tugiye kuririmba irimo ibitangaza bitano bine byararangiye hasigaye kimwe abacunguwe bose bategereje haleluya amen cyambere kiravuga ngo habaye umunsi duhabwa umwana w'umuhungu amen haleluya hageri gihe arapfa Hageri gihe atsinda rupfu na kuzimu yahamba Hageri gihe arazuka Amina Ariko baravuga ngo hazaba kandi undi munsi tuzabona garutse Haleluya Eh haleluya Amina Abatafi abafite ibitabo muri telefone ababifite aho ngaho n'indirimbo ya 3075 ivuga ngo habaye umunsi tuzwishimwe mwijuru Hava you musi, we shim gem gishuru. Yes, we tanga gwa geremisi. Azaku jargwa, lungaru tunganye, uera tura nana. Hava you musi, hava you musi, we shim gem gishuru. Yes, we tanga gwa geremisi. Azaku jargwa. Oh, 
ndabona amasaha yagiye ariko uyu munsi ko nahawe kuyobora ndashaka kugira ngo mbabwire ijambo rimwe gusa amen nari nakabuze mwe mwihanganye kugenda turangiza iki yes ashimwe cyane praise god Yes, Praise God. Yes, Praise God. Yes, Amen. Praise God. Yes, Praise God. Amen. Oh, yani mo bifuji. Yesu na shimne. Praise Amen. God. Amen. There are people who are not able to talk. Kandino no ichirusha huyu munsi. The more thing of today. Yesu yakuzuki. Jesus Amen. is resurrecting for you. He's really I want to give you a short testimony. I was blessed. I was testing God if I'm still with him. Ndavuga ngo mana hari ibintu ndimo ndabona ntazi kuntu bimeze kandi sinzi nukuntu ukora kandi sinzi nukuntu uvuga sinabyumva neza ariko ngiye kukugerageza. He said uh, she said I do I am in trouble things I am seeing things that I cannot understand and I do not understand how you do work but I want to see if you still hear me Papa wacu no mubyeyi But our God is our father No bani bintu byananiranye If you see things ukabona ibintu byivanze and you see things ukabona no zintabwo zibintu urimo and you do not know what you're exactly going to Menya ko you are with God. No that you are with God. Hari testimony bishaka kuguha. There is a testimony that Hadi God testimony. is going to build for you. Nushobora gukora imana udafite testimony. You cannot no say God way. without a testimony. Nishoboka. It is impossible. Yewe kunda Zion Temple. I love Zion Temple. Ndai kunda cyane. Muri aka hantu bari ngo kugeragezwa. I love places that are being chan. tested. Aho niho mbonera imana. Because that's the place Yo, I can see God. When, I see, when I see somebody going through Yo, trials, I feel like I, I want to get close man. to them. I can see that God is really, he's a servant of God when somebody is going through trials. That's why I love this church. There is something that is going to be resurrected in you. Do not be Do not be aware. You know when somebody is pregnant agiye kubyara when she's about to give birth she's always going walking akareka ibyo kujya bimwe na bimwe and you even leave some and you can only sleep in some places nawe mera gutyo hari kigiye kuvuka muri wowe I want you to be that kind hari kigiye kuvuka muri wowe to be hari kigiye kuvuka muri design a temple and devotion you in kandi muzabonesha maso yanyu and you will see this with your own eyes cheka usenge ukore iki imana ikubwiye whoever is wise There is something is going to happen today. Because something is going There to happen. There is something going to happen at Edmonton Zion Temple. Had it been a good man over at Edmonton Zion Temple. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. People are not long in church. Niba warahuye ni Imana, niba warakijije ushaka Imana, niba wari wari yumviye Imana. Tuza ugende ku bwo twitsaved. If you are really saved, if you have seen God. Maze kurera Imana neza mu rugo n'ibyanga. Sorry, and no. just walk mu rugo niba byanze if you see things going wrong and you can see you cannot pray mu rugo niba byaraisa agenda ufate testimony ya ubundi uzavuga iki and i'll just tell them go and tell them go and have your own testimony ibintu twarabikoreye byose because you have had everything uzabwira icyo abana ba what are you going to tell your children nyura mu byunyura mo sinzi byari byo whatever you going through cyo umbikundira nuko ugiye nukagira no mu rusengero the only thing that i like to just go and then you go even in church and you that's can see it's okay I am telling you the truth something is going to be born in your own home Mama pastor yakiri abashitsi Mama pastor received abari So we are all gathered and received twakiriwe sibyo se We were received and we even had from the spirit things and Amen. even the 
in the flesh one. So I'm going to ask to give testimony. But I'm going to give you this testimony of mine. I was about uh, many days really was Do not, I was not really refusing to give my time. I was running into so many trials. And then I was like am I going to leave this place to die? And then I'm going to give the time. I'm going to finish my home first. But I was so scared. Whenever I'm going, I feel like I have to Everywhere I was going, whenever I was going, I was going Everywhere I was going, I was being taught by God, what am I going to do? I'm telling you the truth. That's my truth. I was so scared. <laughs> no, no. And a few days ago, and I said I'm going to give them my tithes. And I was supporting no, my uh, person who had cancer who was looking for medicine. And after I give my medicine, after I give my tithes, there is a God. I want to tell you we have God. I want to tell you, just let us serve God. Look at things that are troubling you. I just want to tell you, serve God and other things I really give my tithe and my tithe. I went with my eyes closed and I gave my tithes. When I reached home, I, I, I received a phone call saying, you're going to receive another child. And I said, I'm going to receive and then the mother said, I'm not going to go to do anything else. I'm going to throw that kid to your place. And then I said, the, uh, the children that I'm allowed to have are full, but one is going to be. But God really did double on my Jesus was filling my cup and I was being blessed and giving to people and the money was not able to finish and I was like God and I told my, my children that I have money I can buy things to my garden and I kept receiving phone calls of problems I kept giving my money Hallelujah. I want to read 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 7, verse 7 only Dutangirimana as we giving to God. Yes. Let us serve God no matter how it looks like. Second Corinthians. Chapter 9, verse 7. Umuntu wese atange nkuko abigambiriye umuntu wese atange nkuko abigambiriye mu mutima we utareba pasta Sinia pasta utareba pasta utareba pasta utareba utareba ubigambirire mu mutima wavuge ngo mana ngiye kugutangira uko bimeze kose nusha kunyica ati nuba kanda dahatwa kuko imana ikunda utanga anezerewe amazure yabukuni imana turabakene muri zayo yabakene uka mu mukene uka mu mukene ngiye mu mukene nabujugunye nzakoresha nabwo nzakoresha hallelujah i throw all my poverty Amen. Do not give because somebody has told you to do so, but do it as you decided in your own heart. Let us sing for God. Communications is not normal. Uzaze gusenga utabivijwe anyway the way you are because when you preach Thursday or Friday and you're still alive it's not a normal day for you. Ufungi ufungi usengere rugo rwawe. 
pray for your own home. Now we send it. Pray for yourself. So you may see how things will be resurrected in your own home. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's sing for God. Yara tinze, Yesu yara tinze. Nami waba mana hora kungo miteka. Yara tinze, Yesu yara tinze. Nami waba mana hora kungo miteka. Yara tinze, Yesu yara tinze. Nami waba mana hora kungo miteka. Yara tinze, Yesu yara tinze. Mami wawa Ibe te 
Tanzania Ugo ya hili raga kumba ya Lazaro Ya hamagare mungu mashake Lazaro mungi tuwe hali muzima Ito ya koze ile Tanzania Ugo ya hili raga kumba ya Lazaro Ya hamagare mungu mashake Ah 
Ndakuingenzengo ubwoko bwawe nyakubahwa buri gukurikirira ijambo ndakwinginze ngo rigire ibyo risenya muri bo kandi rigire ibyo byubaka muri bo witeka mana ikomeye nkuko ri bindoregwamo ritubera indoregwamo twese witeka mana ikomeye twireberamo buri muntu wese akamenya aho hagaze data buja reka twemeza kwihana tukihana tuguhaye byose kukuri byose reka icyubahiro nikuzo bikomeze kuba ibyo none niteka ryose mwizina rya umwami wacu Yesu Kristo amen amen Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, First of all, I want to thank you for a chance to share the word of God again. And to congratulate our pastor and his wife for becoming your father-in-law and son-in-law. Kandi no no go congratulations abashumba bacu babaye bashingiye. Uh, it's, not, it's not easy but God enabled them to uh, reach that step Amen. Amen I want to bring greetings from Toronto Pastor Wilfred and Pastor Bonaventure Pastor Wilfred and Bonaventure send their love and greetings what was that? Okay. Mm. Also, Pastor Paul, the one who wanted to take me to Australia. <laughs> he sent his greetings too. I had a good time with them. Amen. Amen. I'm planning to go to Arizona one of these days. Let me tell you this. There are some people we met in Uganda and worked together serving God. If you remember, in Burundi, there is time they killed so many refugees from Congo. 
Niba mwibuka hari igihe Burundi birukanye impunzi nyinshi ziva muri Kongo and they killed many ebishe bishe impunzi nyinshi zavuye muri Kongo but those who survived most of them came to Uganda ariko abacitse kuri iryo cumu bahungiye muri Uganda so we interacted and helped each other rero twarakoranye cyane turafashanya and served God together kandi twakoranye muri mu w'Imana most of them are many of them are in Australia but some came to the USA. All those that have come to USA started churches and their churches are growing. I will say amen. <laughs> so they heard that somebody gave them my address and my phone numbers and they called me. So I've been going to the USA. Rero babonye telefone zanje ubwo barampamagara niyo mpamvu nakomeje kujya njya muri America It's possible I might move E kandi biranashoboka ko nzimuka They want to keep me Barashaka kungumana Maybe yes maybe not Birashoboka nko bitanashoboka Yeah but God's will will be done Ariko ubushake bw'Imana nibwo nshaka ko buza But this time I went in to Toronto to visit my niece and that's how I happened to fellowship with a church called Abasaruzi. They know most of you because we are mentioning names. Uh, just can't give you all hugs they sent to you. Amen. Amen. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Amen. Amen. Bible says in the Galatians 4 4 that in the right time God sent his son. Was born of a woman. Grew up. Arakura. And in the right time he died. For sinners. But he rose from the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we celebrate. Amen. Amen. We're going to read from 1 Corinthians 2. That's where we'll be our sharing. Philippians, no, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2, chapter 2. From verse 6 to 8, just a few verses. First part of this chapter, verse 1 to 5, says that the Bible very complicated. But you use scriptures to define, to explain other scriptures. You, to go into it now would take a lot of time. Paul spoke of the wisdom of God and the glory of God. But we all know the scriptures say that Jesus is the wisdom of God. And he's also the glory of God. Peter thinks second Peter 315. Peter Petero wa kabiri gatatu 15. He warns us he says when you read things Paul wrote be careful because he writes them with so much wisdom that are impossible to some to understand. Aravuga ngo mujye mwitondera ibintu Paulo yandika kuko abyandika nubwenge bwinshi ku buryo bikomera ku bantu bamwe kubisobanukira. He says we should be careful not to misinterpret things Paul wrote in wisdom. Ngo tujye twitonda cyane kugira ngo tutabyitiranya cyangwa tukabisobanura nabi ibyo Paulo yanditse. Because we make mistakes if we misinterpret what he wrote. Kuko twaba dukoza makosa mu gihe twumvise nabi ibyo yanditse. So the first part you need to sit down and chew begin to masticate. But verse 6, 7 and 8 is what we're going to read and share. It says we do, however, speak message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age, of the rulers of this age, 
who are coming to nothing baravuga ku murongo wa gatandatu baravuga ngo cyakora ubwenge tubuvuga ubwenge tubuvuga mu batunganijwe rwose ariko ubwo bwenge si ubw'iki gihe cyangwa ubwo abatware b'iki gihe bashiraho no we speak of god secret wisdom wisdom that has been hidden and that god destined for our glory before time began ahubwo tuvuga ubwenge bw'ubwira ubw'Imana ari bwo bwenge bwahishwe Imana yaringanije ibihe byose bitarabaho ngo buduheshe icyubahiro none of these rulers of this age understood it for if they had they would not have crucified the lord of glory mu batware b'iki gihe nta wabumenye kuko iyo babumenya nti baba barabambye umwami w'icyubahiro amen today we are going to share more especially on verse 8 turatinda cyane ku murongo wa 8 and it's called i recalled it irreversible regret nabyise kuticuza irreversible kuticuza bidahindurwa things you regret you have done and you can't do anything about it to change them hari ibintu wicuza ko wakoze ariko ukaba ntacyo wasubira inyuma ngo ubikoreho when god wanted to save israelites from egypt mu gihe yesu mu gihe imana yashakaga gucungura abisrael ibakura muri egiputa it was by mighty hand and miracles and plagues yabikoresheje ukuboko gukomeye nibitangaza na bibya byago byose yabateje through a man kandi yabikoreye mu muntu witwa mose one of them one of the israelites umwe muri abo bisrael yacunguraga by his hand miracles were performed and plagues too were wrought yakoresheje ukuboko kwe akora ibitangaza nibyateza nibyago byinshi they had a big dose of frogs big dose of lice and other things but they wanted to be shy but they were not in the industry but even if they saw those things those rulers over the time did not understand it ariko nubwo batewe nibyo byago byose abategetsi bakirya gihe abatware bakirya gihe ntabwo babyumvise nabo babisobanukirwaga the god was speaking to them through plagues and miracles for enslaving his people imana yababwiriraga mu bitangaza nibimenyetso na bibya byago byose yabateraga kabibateza kuberako bagize abantu bimbata and each time moses prayed for one plague to change said the, the the pharaohs hardened his heart kandi igihe cyose mose yasengaga ngo icyago kimwe gikurweho byatumaga ahubwo farao umutima we ukomantara kurushaho so by mighty hand of god god saved the church of old testament rero kubw'imbaraga z'Imana kugukoko kw'Imana gukomeye yacunguye itorero from the hand of pharaoh yacunguye itorero ari kura mu kuboko but in the right time when god wanted to save you and me ariko mu gihe gikwiriye ubwo Imana yashakaga gucungura wowe nange from our sins from our frogs from from our lies cungura adukura mu byaha byacu mu bikeri byacu no mu nda zacu he sent a man that's greater than moses yohereje umuntu uruta mose gukomera and he said it. he said one that's greater than moses is here yaravuze nguruta mose ari hano so god sent him to save us rero imana yaramohereje kugira ngo aze kudukiza he is a man who did not sin no umuntu utarigeze gukora icyaha now moses did mose yarashumuye he was even punished for it yaranahanwe kubera gutyo but jesus never committed a sin ariko yesu ntabwo yigeze akora icyaha but he became sin for us ariko yahinduwe icyaha kugaza so that he can save us kugira ngo abashe kuducunga he took up our place yafashe umwanya wacu kumusaba and paid the price atwishyurira ikiguzi tutari kwishyurira the reason why he is greater than moses impamvu aruta mose is because moses did with outcome with outside the results then to with the things after they happen nuko mose yakoraga ku bintu byamaze kuba like you do see frogs right you you could see frogs yakushoraga washoraga kubona ibikeri but to see lice it's impossible ariko kubona inda byari bikomeye only when they begin to suck your blood that's why jesus is greater than moses because jesus doesn't deal with the results he deals with 
Things before they happen, they come. It deals with the root. So it was by mighty hand of God, through his son Jesus Christ, that he saved you and me. And for Jesus, he never used plagues. Miracles, yes. But in the place of plagues, he showed and taught about love. How we can love one another. How we can forbear. How we can be. Can, yes, how we can forbear one another. And he manifested uh, his love, his approach, shocked rulers of the time. They didn't understand. They, they began to hunt for him. They wanted to kill him before his time. But God's time is always the right time. Do you remember when they wanted to push him over a cliff and they would not? Because it was not God's time for him to go. So he came and taught about love. And compassion. And changed the hearts of men. Mark this, Jesus never hurt anybody. The only time Jesus got angry was when he came to church and found people <laughs> selling and buying in the church. Yeah, he took his belt and whipped them and overturned the tables. He said, you have turned my father's house into a den of thieves. And I was thinking last week there is a cathedral in Paris. A cathedral caught fire. And as I was watching, they said that through the doors of the cathedral, 13 million people every year go through the church. And there every year they go through those doors and give money. When I watched and they were trying to save the images and heads of uh, things they created. I wondered if Jesus walked into the church today. If he would, if he would walk in. You, 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 would he really not whip them? Not because 13 million people that have gone through the church every year, how many got saved? How many found Jesus? I'm not being judgmental. But how can people set their mind on images and, and things they made from clay? And yet a church is a place where people should come and be saved. I wouldn't. I wondered. But Jesus never had anyone except at that time when he beat them up. How many of you pray that he would walk in today? You see, no one. <laughs> no one. <laughs> I don't know what he would do. But he had a zeal 
a heart for his house ariko yara afite umurava yara afite umurava numutima all he was doing is Matthew 16:19 I shall build my church ibyo yavugaga byose yakoraga byose yabikoreraga itorero rye and then back to the scripture in 1 Corinthians 2:8 the rulers of that time did not understand. Not just Pirato or Herod. But even the priest like Caiaphas. They desired him to be out. They wanted to kill him. Rulers of the, the governor um, of Romans at that time wanted to, read of, to get rid of him. They all missed it. They, they did not apprehend the time Jesus came when he was walking on earth. Only a few times demons recognized him. When they would cry out and say, we know you are the son of God. Demons knew who he was. But the rulers of that time did not know him. Uh, they missed it. That's why Paul writes no wisdom that if rulers of that time knew who he was, they would not have crucified the prince of God. Can you get a bit on Muganda? Mama of a solo Mama, Togera could be Gamba, Gamba, Singa Namania, Singa Bamania, Tebari committed Domangira Obram. Eh, to some of my colleagues, so case or a biddy or a year of Mukao to Sakrom Nana. That's the end of Uganda. <laughs> Amen. Amen. What makes our what makes the resurrection so spectacular? Ikino gituma umuzuko ari igitangaza began on Friday. Began yatangiye kwa gatanu. As we remember uh, being arrested and uh, beaten. Twibuka nkuko twibuka ukuntu yabamufashe bakamukubita. And the devil thought he had got him in a corner where he has no escape. Today I want to share with you a few things you will know that happened on that day. Because they make this day so beautiful and so special. And that day when these things began to happen, the devil realized he could not handle Jesus. He realized this was a special kind of man. He was too hot that he could not hold him. Even in the grave could not kill him and could not keep the stone Held together. Now, things that happened on Friday, one of them is one with no hope. A thief all his life found eternal life instantly by his own prayer. Very short and concise. Lord, remember me. No coaching. Repeat after me. Jesus, Jesus, save me, save me. 
We coach people here. This thief on the cross was not coached. Ntabyo kumwigisha tujya tubwira abantu ngo basubire ngo ariko uyu mujura nta wamwigishije. He prayed from his heart. Yarasenze asenga bikura mu mutima we. Lord remember me. Aravuga ngo mwami unyibuke. And Jesus even in such hour of agony. Kan hanyuma umwami Yesu no mu gihe nk'icyo ngicyo cyo mu gihe yari warasamba. Could still save a sinner. Could still receive anyone who came to him. Amen. Amen. No, wait or don't you see I'm dying too? No. Hey. Okay. Hmm. Uh, he did not even ask him uh, about Karande. Maybe you are a thief because you are in Nyogo saying you used to be a thief. Or, or your mother used to steal while carrying you on, on her back. No, when you come to Jesus, he saves you. Many people want to ask you and say, your grandfather used to do this. Maybe this is because, no, 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 no. That business is people's business. Jesus' business is to save. Amen. Abantu bajya babaza ngo ahari ngo iwanyu bakoraga ibi ariko Yesu ntabwo abazi ibyo ngibyo Yesu akazike no gukiza no gucungura The moment he prayed that prayer unyibuke remember me so okay you got it you will be with me Mu gihe gito gusa yasenze ngo mwami unyibuke nuza mu bwami bwawe yahise ibyo sengesho rikora Guarantee Yahise abyemererwa Jesus salvation is guarantee Agakiza ku mwami it's, it's the only expensive thing you receive for free. So that thief got saved. When Jesus was on the cross. I could imagine Satan saying, ah, we lost that one. He was close to come to hell. I could, I could also imagine Jesus saying, oh, you wait and see. In no time, tombs opened up. The dead in them came out. And he went to the city to make a tour. Jesus on the cross. And the dead are coming out. Now allow me to think. Allow me. A, I think those people who came out of the tomb were Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. I think. Maybe, maybe Job, Jonathan, Joel. Who Jeremiah and other many judges. Abo bose nyene bayeye. Came out free. Bose barazutse. Because Jesus was hung on the cross. Kuko umwami Yesu yari kumusaraba. And he was not raised up yet. Kandi yari atarazuka icyo gihe. But in death these people came out of their graves. Ariko mu rupfu rwa Yesu bari abantu barazuka. Or we mentioned the men, but maybe women too or maybe few or maybe one, maybe Deborah. I don't know. But all the saints that were captive in the graves and tombs. When Jesus was hung on the cross, they came out. Amen. Amen. And they were seen walking around. The devil began to say, I wish I knew. Maybe I should not have had Jesus arrested. 
Maybe I should not have had him being crucified. Satan agomba kuba yaratangiye kwicuza akavuga ati iyo ntari kureka ngo Yesu bamufate batangire kumwica. While he was thinking of that, mugiye yari gutekereza ibyo. Then as begin to shake, to shake. Ubutaka utangira kunyeganyega. Without hammers, sledge hammers. Nta nta nyundo, nta kintu na kimwe. Rocks began began to split. Amabuye ibitare bitangira kumenagurika. He began to say, I wish I knew. Bitangira kuvuga ngo iyo nari kuba nabimenye. While the devil is still thinking of that. Mu gihe Satani yari agitekereza ibyo. You know, normally we take a minute to think of people we honor that have gone. Urabizi hari tujya dufata mu bisanzwe dufata umunota umwe tukibuka abantu abatuvuyemo. But the sun paused for 3 hours. In ariku, honor of Christ. Ariku izuba ryarijimye amasaha atatu kugira ngo rihe umwami cyubahiro. The birds went to find their nest. Inyoni zirayo baziburaho ibyare byazo biri. Which means their singing is stopped. Bivuga ngo ntizongeye no kuririmba. Ah, uh, I enjoy when I'm in Rwanda I enjoy birds in the morning hearing them singing. Iyo ndi mu Rwanda nezerezwa cyane no kumva inyoni mu gitondo ziririmba. I miss it so much. Because here I don't hear nothing. Ko hano nta kintu wumva. Yeah, just just vehicles passing. But the birds went to sleep and they paused. Ariko icyo gihe inyoni zara zabuze uzananiwe kubona ibyare byazo nuko zireka no kuririmba. The sun refused to shine. Izuba rirazima. Because Jesus was on the cross. Kuko Yesu yari ku musaraba. And the devil began to say I wish I knew. Kuko noneho Satana akomeza kuvuga ngo yaba nari nabimenye. I would have not crucified this man. Sinari kubamba uyu muntu. Many more 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 things happened. Hari ibintu byinshi byabaye. In Matthew 27 verse 54. Muri Matayo 27:47. Bible tells us about one afande, one canoe. This, this afande was over 100 people. When he saw all these things happening, he and his men confessed that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Still, He's on the cross. He has not risen from the dead yet. But people began to confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Satan began to know that things are getting out of hand. His supporters now are changing. And accepting Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He began to say, Oh, I wish I knew. Amen. Hallelujah. On the third day, he rose from the dead. And in the Colossians, I think chapter 2. Verse 15 says, When he rose up from the dead. He made a show of the powers of Satan and hell. He embarrassed them. Because they had bribed people to guard the grave so that the disciples will not come to see him. Disciples actually were cowards. They had gone to hide. <laughs> so Jesus did not need any help to get out of the grave. He did not need anybody to roll the stone away. But the power of resurrection roll the stone away. Jesus came out of the grave alive. Those that were guarding, we were embarrassed. I'm sure there were no TV or no cell phones for Kayafa to call Pilato. No. Yeah. But on that day, all of them, or the rulers of that time, wished they did not 
crucified Jesus Christ. Ariko kiriya gihe abatware ba kiriya gihe bose baravuze bati yo tubimenya ntabwo twari kuba twakoze bino bintu. That's why Paul writes in all his wisdom if those rulers would have known they would not have crucified the prince of life niyo mpamvu paulo yandika ngo iyo bari abatware baza kumimenya baza kugira ubwenge nti baba bara barabambye umwami w'ubugingo amen amen now let us think of this phrase reka dutekereze kuri iri kuri interuro i wish i would have known iyaba naramenye if they would have known iyo baba baramenye those that phrase has gone through minds of people loudly probably or softly with a frown on the face iryo iyo nteruro yagiye yagendagenze mu mitwe y'abantu bafite n'iminkanya ari mu maso how i wish i did not do this how iya bibira bintu tutarabikoze let's look at some of the people that could have said those things reka tuvuge ku bantu bamwe bashobora kuba baravuze ibyo bintu one of them is cain umwe muri bo ni cain if cain knew that god would cast him and throw him out a vagabond iyo cain aza kumenya ko imana izamuvuma he would not have killed abel ntabwo aba yarishe muri umuntu nawe abiri if he knew that his can ebos blood still cries out for vengeance even today iya mza kumenya ko amaraso ya muri umuntu nawe azakomeza kugusaba guhorerwa kugeza uno munsi he would not have killed his ntabwo yari kuba yaramwishe but he killed him ariko yaramwishe he regrets it arabyicuza nyuma too late ariko byari byatinze byarenze igi another person i think of is goliath undi njya ntekereza nibaza ko ari goliath if goliath goliath knew did I call him Goliath? Goliath. Goliath. Iyo Goliath aza kubimenya. If he knew he would lose his head. Yamenya ko umutwe uzacibwa. He would not have defied Israelites. Ntabwo yari kuba yaratutse abisirayeli. Remember Israelites represent a church in Old Testament. You remember the the Israelites, the nation of Israel is a type of a church in old testament mwibuke ko abisiraeli ni nkurusengero mwisezerano rya kera he attacked and defied challenged for long time israelites yarabatutse arabatera igihe kirekire little did he know that soon his head will be off his neck ariko ntabwo yamenye ko mu gihe gito azacibwe igihanga amen if so knew the plans of god he had for david iyo saura za kumenya umugambi imana yari ifite kuri david he would not have hunted and tried to kill him many times ntabwo yari kuba yaramuhize kuri yashaka kumwica buri gihe if you so knew that god would reject him as a king iyo saura za kumenya ko imana izamu iza izamukura ho bwami he would have dared to obey all instructions god had given yari kubaha amategeko yose imana yamuhaga but he did not ariko ntiyigeze abimenye I'm sure he wished like ndikwibaza ko yabyifuje nyuma ariko atakibitagishobora First Corinthians 2:8 I wish I knew ndikwibaza ko yabyifuje ariko atakibishoboye Another person I thought of is Nebuchadnezzar Undi natekereje ni umwami Nebuchadnezzar If he knew he would be a beast Iyo aza kumenya ko Imana izamuhereza mu ishyamba kurisha nk'igisimba he would not have boasted of his greatness. Ntabwo aba yari kubise kugatuza ngo yirate kunakomeye. He did not know. Ntabwo yabimenye. That he would become a god. Ntabwo yamenye ko Imana izamuhereza mu ishyamba karisha ngihenda. If Nebuchadnezzar Nebuchadnezzar knew he would not have thrown three Hebrew children in fire furnace. Iyaza kubimenya ntabwo aba yarajugunye bari abahungu batatu mu muriro mu itanura ryo muriro. But he did not know. Ariko ntiyabimenye that the son of god will come to quench the fire ntabwo yabimenye ko umwana w'imana azaza guhosha uriya muriro but he did and he escaped because later he confessed god he ariko yaje kubimenya nyuma nuko acika kwicumu kuko nyuma yaje kwatura imana kwa imana by the way so who became paul and gardeners are the only people who benefited from attacking the church rero sahuri uri yawaje guhindurwa poro na nebukadineza nibo bantu babiri gusa bungukiye mu gutoteza itorero ry'Imana because uh, so 
uh, was told that he was kicking his foot against the prick. Kuko Paulo yabwiwe ko yateraga umugeri ku rutare. And his calling began there. Hanyuma umuhamagaro utangirira hari. But even Nebuchadnezzar by throwing the Hebrew children in the fire he had a chance to see the son of God. He himself said I was through three people in the fire but I see four and the fourth looks like the son of God. And you don't see Jesus and you don't get saved. Very few. But probably in heaven we shall see Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah, he confesses that I now know that the God of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, is the only God who saves. And Amen. I let God judge, but I think if he confessed to God, when you get to heaven, you might see. But he confessed. Another one that really is embarrassing is Judas Iscariot. How could he have been a disciple and promoted to apostleship and sell Jesus Christ $30? How, how can the one... Because he it's, it's impossible to, to comprehend. But it happened. And had he known that the rope was waiting to cut off his head, his neck, yeah. Maybe have, he would have thought twice. But he did not. I don't think he even lived to regret to say, I wish I knew. Mm. If Peter knew that he would think if he took his eyes off Christ, he would not have. If Peter knew that he was going to see he, he would not have taken his eyes off Christ. Another person I thought of was Samson. Samson did not know he would lose his power. Until he lost his eyes. When he lost his eyes, that wishful thinking came. Mm. But he had already told a woman the, the source of his power. Sorrowful regrets. There will be other regrets on the last day. People that were so close to salvation and they did not grab it. One is this second thief that was crucified with Christ. He's going to wish he prayed like the other thief. But he did not. He only mocked Christ on the cross and said, you saved so many people, save yourself and save us. In other words, he was mocking our Lord. On the, on the last day, he's going to regret he did that. Another one is this rich man who had a conversation with Abraham when Lazarus was in his bosom. If you have a lot, please share. If you have little, please share. Mama June shared what she had. 
Mama June ya sangi vya fiti. Now she said, she claimed today she is the richest woman. No, no, mungu wali kwa atura kwa rumukiri. Amen. But hey, the, the boy in John didn't ha, did not have too much. Had only five loaves of bread and two fishes. Uya mungu mungitawo chayo wane. Na wala fiti bjenji. Yala fiti migati tano gusa. Ni febjiri. Gave it to the Lord. Abiha umgani. And so many were fed, 5,000 people. And the Bible says those were just men. That's why I wondered about these people who toured Jerusalem from graves. Maybe they were all men. I have no idea. They widow in Old Testament had just a little bit of flour left, but fed a man of God. But this rich man could not even feed Razarus because Razarus was fighting for crumbs that fell off the, his table. Ariko uyu mukire ntiyashoboye kugaburira Lazaro. Lazaro yatoragura gutuvungukira twatakaye tuva ku meza ye. Friends, share what you have. Inshuti zanje reka tusangira ibyo dufite. Doesn't have to be too much. Ntabwo ugomba kugira byinshi kugira ngo bisangire. Just a little bit you have. Share. Ikeya birahagije. Don't be like this rich. This rich man regretted and he's going to regret again. Uriya mukire nuve nkuriya mukire ni tube nkuriya mukire uriya mukire yari cujije kandi azongera yicuze Another one is this young ruler in Mark chapter 10 Undi nuriya mutegetsi wo muri Mariko igice cya 10 He came and knelt before Christ but he left without salvation because he refused Yaraje asanga umwami Yesu ariko amusiga adakijijwe kuko yanze kumva ibyo Yesu amubwiye But The word says that Jesus looked at him and loved him. Ariko ijambo riratubwira ngo umwami Yesu yaramurebye aramukunda. But turned his back on the Lord. Ariko ntibyamubuza kugenda atakirira gakiza. He is going to say I wish I knew. Azavuga ngo yaba narabimenye. I would have received the cross there and then. Nari kuba narakirira umwami Yesu hari yakiragi. But he didn't. Ariko ntabwo yabikoze. What do you think of Ananias? Ese mutekereza iki kuri Ananias? Ana if eh, Anania. Yes. Mutekereza iki kuri Anania? Ananias had a house was his could have kept it. Anania yari afite inzu ye yariye yashoboraga kuba yayigumanye ntayigurisha. Sold it money was his could have kept it. Arayigurisha amafaranga yaraye yashoboraga kuba yayigumanye. It would be safe. Nta kibazo yari kugira. But because of lying. Ariko kubera kubeshya. He died. Yarapfuye. We at the word of Peter. You are lying. This is not the amount. You have. Ananias on that day, some people think he will be in heaven. Hey, hey, I, I'm not a, I don't I, I'm not a judge. I don't know who will go and who will not go. Except, Except the warning is you receive them by their fruits. The, Jesus told us how we tell it's by the fruit. Because some people believe once saved always saved. You've heard of that belief? Once saved always saved no matter what you do. Watch out. Because I'll give you a name of someone who was saved but did not continue. Anyways, Ananias, should we have known that he would die? He would have either kept his money or would have brought it all. Should his wife have known she would, that her husband died, she would not have stuck to that agreement they had. She would have come and confessed. Sorry, there is more money we left behind. She would have been safe. But she comes and Peter says, hey, how much did you say? 
ariko yaraje nkuko umugabo we yabeshye na warabeshye Peter says okay, the feet that have just buried your husband nuko Peter aramubwira ngo rero ibirenge bivuye guhamba umugabo wawe they carrying you bob nawe birakujyanye mukanya gato kaput kaput should she have known iya za kubimenya she would not ntabwo aba yarabeshye that phrase has gone through so many uh, people's minds ibi byagiye mu mutwe w'abantu abantu bakome benshi babitekerejeho he is a man in philemon verse 24 muri philemon gice cyama no it's one chapter philemon ni gice kimwe verse 24 umurongo wa 24 demas was a co-worker with paul demas yari yakoranaga na paul and in the Colossians 4:14 he co-signs a card a greeting card a greeting sent mu bakorosai 4:14 yep he signed sent greetings to the sent alongside paul yandikira hamwe na paul yandikira bera abasuhuza but the second team of chapter 4 verse 10 ariko muri timoteo wa kabiri gatatu 10 paul says demas has left me has forsaken me Paul aravuga ngo Demas yaransize yakunze amafaranga He has loved the present world Yakunze ibyiyise Ha that's why was saved always saved Zero hmm. Yes and no Gutekereza ngo niba ukijijwe uzahora ukijijwe If there is a man ngo yego kandi hoya If there is any man who ever been saved was Judas Iscariot Niba hari umuntu wari warakijijwe ni Judas Iscariot I told you he was a disciple and then an apostle. Yari ntumwa azamurwa mu ntera ba apotre ari ntumwa. But the choice he made was wrong. Ko amahitamo yagize ntabwo yari meza. So watch out even when you are saved watch out. Ariko twitonde niyo dukijijwe twitonde. Walk by this. Ugendere muri iri jambo. Stick to the word of God. Ugume mu ijambo ry'Imana. What does it say? Ijambo ry'Imana riravuga iki? Bible says that God hates sin. Though he loves sinners, he hates sin. Ijambo ry'Imana yatubwira ngo Imana ikunda abanyabyaha ariko yanga icyaha. Demas loved present world. Demas yakunze ubuzima bw'iki gihe. If you look at the prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ in John 17. Turebye isengesho umwami Yesu yasenze muri Yohana 17. He said, I am praying for this not to take them out of the world, but they are in the world but they don't belong to the world yaravuze ngo ndasengera abangaba simba sengera ngo bakure mwisi ngo ariko ntabwo arabisi though we are here we don't belong here na nubwo turi hano mwisi ariko ntabwo turabisi we are on in transit we are just passing through turi turabagenzi turi ingenzi we are pilgrims turi abagenzi this world is not our home. Our home is heaven. Where Jesus is preparing homes for us. Don't be like Demas. Don't take things for granted. Don't think you have to do things because you have to do them. Someone asked me false doctrine what is false doctrine aruwambajije ngo se inyigisho zitari zo nizihe it's hard to explain ariko birakomeye kubisobanura but is yes the way ariko mu buryo bworoshye is anything that's not centered on Christ is false ariko ikintu cyose kitavuga ku mwami Yesu ikintu cyose kitishingikiriza ku mwami Yesu ntabwo ari cyo n'inyigisho z'ibinyoma any teaching any edification that's not centered on Christ is false. Inyigisho zose zitafite urufatiro muri Yesu ni binyoma. The world today has a lot of teachings that has come out. Yisi turimo muri ibi bihe ifite inyigisho nyinshi cyane. Infiltrated churches. Yeah, infiltrated churches. Churches are teaching worldly things based on world wisdom, not the wisdom of God. Nisi amatorero yigisha ubwenge bashingiye ku bwenge bw'isi badashingiye ku bwenge bw'Imana. So many people time is gone but think of Peter. Igihe kiranganya ariko mutekereze kuri Petero. Had not Jesus prayed for him. Iyo umwami Yesu abatamusengeye. 
In Luke 22 verse 32. Jesus died. And before he could appear to them in John 21. Yesu yarapfuye ariko mbere yuko abigaragariza muri Yohana 21 verse 3 umurongo wa gatatu Peter tells his friends he says I'm going back fishing Petero abwira aba inshuti zera babwira ngo ngewe nisubiriye kuroba So is to go back to things you used to do Biroroshye cyane gusubira mu bintu wamenyereye wari usanzwe ukora So is to say things you used to say Biroroshye cyane kuvuga ibintu wari usanzwe uvuga but Jesus had prayed for Peter. Ariko Yesu yari asenge Petero. That's why Peter was retrieved. Niyo mpamvu Petero yarokowe. From this sentence I wish I knew. Kugira ngo atazagera na wigihe yicuza. Today the stories would have about Peter would be different. Uno munsi yaba tararokowe. But thank God Jesus prayed for you. Amen. Amen. Have you ever said something and you want to bite your tongue? Have you ever said things and you regret having said them? My tongue. My, this big mouth. Slap yourself. Oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. And then the repercussions come. Then you say, I wish I didn't. I wish I did not. Marriage is break up because of this. Marriage is break up because of this. Oh, man says, I regret I married you. Or the other way around. Look at her. I wish I didn't marry you. It's like putting a sword in a woman's heart. You may regret it, but the woman to forget what you said. Birashoka ko wabyicuza ariko wowe wabibwiye kugira ngo wabyibagirwe ntago byoroshye. I wish I knew if the devil, demons, rulers of that time would have known that Jesus Christ is life, they would not have dared to crucify him. As we wind up, I pray. That would be like this woman at the well. Jesus said, if you knew who is standing before you, if you knew who is talking to you, if you knew who is asking you for water, if you knew who is asking you for your heart and your life and your lifestyle, you would ask him to give you eternal, to give you water will be, which will lead you to eternal life. If you knew, and the woman grabbed it. So, yeah, I want it. And she got it. She got a big dose of it. She became, she became a preacher without training. No Bible school. Was not recruited like evangelists here. But she just went with one message. Come and see one who told me. Come and see one who told me everything about me. The city knew her because of her habits. She had had five men or six. She, she must have been very beautiful. Why would men be attracted to such a woman? So the city knew her, knew her past, but now they see her present is different. But they came Christ. She led so many to Christ. Our regrets of things we did, I pray that we put them behind us. 
ibyo twakoze ibyo twicuza twakoze ndasenze ngo tubishyire inyuma yacu may we today live a new life kugira ngo uno munsi tubeho ubuzima as we commemorate jesus resurrection mu gihe turi kwizihiza kuzuka ku mwami yesu may we be able to say come and see one who saved my life reka natwe tuzavuge ngo nimuze murebe uwacunguye ubugingo we are going to graves to dig up the bones dig up the past and smear it on one's face your own face in the right time god sent his son in the right time jesus died in right time he rose from the dead i think this is the right time he lives in our life may we allow him to protrude through us live his life in our life to be a witness of resurrection then we will be able to give what we have we will be able to give a water of life to others then our story won't be just a story it will have a backup a backup would ever blow because God allows only power you can handle through you. Amateka na ni